In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on October 22, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Syracuse vs. Clemson The Clemson Tigers play host to the Syracuse Orange on Saturday afternoon in a crucial Atlantic Coast Conference showdown from Memorial Stadium. Both teams come in with unblemished records this season, though something will have to give in this one. Syracuse is off to a 6-0 start, while the Tigers are 7-0 and have their eyes set on the college football playoff. Over the years, this has been an interesting series, including Syracuse grabbing the upset back in 2017. With four wins in a row in this series and wins in nine of the last ten, Clemson will be feeling good about their chances to grab the win in this one. Syracuse is 5-1 against the spread in their last six games overall and 9-4 against the spread in their last 13 conference games, while the under is 5-1 in their last six games against a team with a winning record. Clemson is 7-1 against the spread in their last eight conference games and 3-8 against the spread in their last 11 home games while the over is 4-1 to in their last five games following a win. If people were skeptical of Clemson and how good they could be at the start of this season, there were certainly a large swath of people who never thought the Tigers would be hosting an undefeated Syracuse team in mid-October. But here we are, a fight for first place in the Atlantic Division of the Atlantic Coast Conference. Much of the storyline of this game will be centered around how well can Clemson's improved defense perform against an orange defense that is statistically one of the best in the nation. It's fair to say Syracuse hasn't played anyone of note yet. Last week's game against NC State wasn't equitable despite the Wolfpack's number 15 ranking due to the fact that their starting quarterback Devin Leary didn't play in the game due to injury. Their next toughest opponent might have been Purdue. In fact, they've beaten just one top 40 team. The other thing that hangs in the balance for Syracuse is that this is their first true road game. Their only other away contest came against UConn. The environment in Clemson is something they haven't faced yet this season. Clemson's offense has been vastly improved this year mostly because of the play of quarterback DJ Uyagale. He's thrown 17 touchdowns and just two interceptions and has benefited from a solid ground game led by sophomore running back Will Shipley. Syracuse ranks 95th in rushing success rate allowed and hasn't faced a team yet that can run the ball with the success that Clemson does. The Tigers score touchdowns on 74% of their red zone trips and the Orange defense will have to do a great job at keeping them to field goals over touchdowns if they hope to win the game. Syracuse will have to play mistake-free football because Clemson has been excellent at taking advantage. The Tigers create more turnover opportunities and force more three and outs than their opponents. Orange quarterback Garrett Schrader threw two interceptions last week that kept the game closer than it should have been. Clemson has dominated weaker opponents this year and covered big numbers, but against equitable teams, they've done enough to win and cover short numbers. Their games against Wake Forest, NC State, and Florida State were under double-digit spreads. Clemson wins, Syracuse covers, so the Syracuse Orange to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The under is 5-1 to one in the last six meetings between these conference foes and 4-0 to zero in Syracuse's last four conference games. I believe the Cuse will show some grit defensively, limiting a couple of Clemson's drives to field goals. While the Tigers are averaging 39 points per game, that stat is a bit misleading, as they're only averaging 417.4 total yards per game, which is 61st in the FBS. Syracuse passed for a couple of touchdowns last week, but this offense has not been challenged by a team like Clemson in a road atmosphere this season. Schrader has to be able to run the ball effectively to open up his receivers, which is something that the Tigers will look to limit with their sixth-ranked rush defense. Both groups have talent at wide receiver, though with a focus on using their dual-threat quarterbacks, establishing the run will be key. The Orange also has one of the country's best defenses, ranked 12th against both the run and pass, while sitting sixth nationally in scoring defense. While Clemson will do well to worsen those numbers slightly, there's no way that this will be a high-scoring affair between 
between the two, I don't expect an offensive explosion from either side, and so this will be a low-scoring affair between two teams near the top of the standings who will be focused on moving the ball on the ground. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Tennessee Martin vs. Tennessee The Tennessee Martin Skyhawks and the Tennessee Volunteers meet Saturday in college football action from Nayland Stadium. Tennessee Martin is fresh off an open week. The Skyhawks last played in a win over Murray State. As for Tennessee, they took on Alabama over the weekend. The Volunteers ended up bagging an upset victory. The Tennessee Volunteers won arguably their biggest game since their 1998 National Championship last week when they beat the Alabama Crimson Tide 52-49. The Volunteers built as much as an 18-point first-half lead before Alabama came roaring back to tie the game in the second half. The teams went back and forth after halftime, with the game being decided by a 40-yard knuckleball field goal from Chase McGrath as time expired. Tennessee QB Hendon Hooker was excellent, passing for 385 yards and five touchdowns with his first interception of the season. Jalen Hyatt was his favorite target as he pulled in six receptions for 207 yards and all five of Hooker's touchdown passes. In terms of talent, Tennessee obviously is in a different stratosphere compared to FCS-level UT Martin but this spot favors the Skyhawks more than it does the Volunteers. Coming off such a massive win in program history, I would expect there to be a bit of a hangover for Tennessee against an FCS opponent. Ud Martin comes into this game off its bye week, so the Skyhawks will be fresh and ready to try to pull off the unthinkable. They may not get that far, but they possess an offense that is potent enough to keep this game within the number. The Skyhawks average 37.5 points per game behind quarterback Dresser win who has passed for over 1,700 yards with 11 touchdowns and just two interceptions. Lynn has some pieces around him in 6 feet 220 pounds running back Zach Wallace and 63 215 pounds wide receiver Colton Dowell, who can make some plays against a Tennessee defense that ranks outside the top 60 in closing passing efficiency and outside the top 100 in total yards allowed per game. The Volunteers should win this one comfortably. However, with their bye week already behind them and massively important games against Kentucky and Georgia on the horizon, I would expect some of the starters to sit in the second half and give the Skyhawks an opportunity to take care of things in this contest. So the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Ud Martin is one of the most potent offenses at the FCS level. The Skyhawks gain 485.2 yards and score 37 and a half points per game, both of which rank in the top 12 in FCS. Furthermore, they have a quarterback in Dresser win who has thrown just two interceptions through six games. They have scored 45 or more points in three straight games and come into this contest against the Volunteers rested off after a bye week. Considering this, the Skyhawks should have enough to put some points on the board against a defense that ranks outside the top 40 in points allowed per game and outside top 100 in yards allowed per game at the FBS level. The Volunteers should have few issues putting up points at home against an FCS opponent. They have scored at least 50 points in three out of four home games and rank second in points per game at the FBS level, with the expectation that Ud Martin will be able to score a few touchdowns. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. UNLV vs. Notre Dame, Saturday afternoon on the college gridiron and we will see a team from the Mountain West Conference square off with a team from the independent ranks as the UNLV Rebels grapple with the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. This contest will take place at Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend, Indiana. UNLV is off to a surprising 4-3 start, but they did lose to Air Force at home last week by a score of 42-7. The Irish may be one of the biggest disappointments of the year as they come in at 3-3 and off of a 16-14 home loss to Stanford. Notre Dame is 5-0 against the spread in their last five games against the Mountain West. UNLV is 0-4 against the spread in their last four games in October. Notre Dame is 1-4 against the spread in their last five home games. The under is 7-2 in the Rebels' last nine games in October. The under is 5-1 in Notre Dame's last six games overall. The UNLV Rebels are doing decently well and losing by 26 points feels way too high for my liking against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Notre Dame can overlook Look UNLV here as they have a matchup against the 14th ranked Syracuse Orange next week and that game is more built 
up than this one. The Rebels have an injured quarterback and running back that are both listed as day-to-day, -day, and if they have at least one of them available, the offense should be good. I expect both to play. Looking at the defenses in the last two weeks, the Rebels are giving up 41 points per game while the Fighting Irish are allowing 18 points per game. That is a 23-point difference. Notre Dame hasn't been great this season, and I'm not laying this type of number no matter who they are playing. Notre Dame's offense is averaging only 24 points per game, and they aren't going to run up the score enough to get the job done here. Look for the Rebels to score at least 14 points, and that will be enough for UNLV to take care of business. So the UNLV Rebels to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. UNLV is scoring 7 points per game in their last two games, while Notre Dame is averaging 21 points per game in their previous two games as well. As we touched upon earlier, the Fighting Irish have not been doing too well in terms of forcing turnovers, which means they are not getting a lot of shorter fields for their offense. With the injury to Brumfield and his concussion potentially keeping him out as head injuries are an issue, the Rebels are going to struggle to move the football. Notre Dame loves to run the football, and that means the clock is continuing to tick down, with less total plays throughout the game and less opportunities to score. The Rebels have scored just 14 total points in their last two games and they have averaged under 290 yards per game, along with just 18 points per game on the road for the year. UNLV is banged up at QB and that will mean that they have to look to their ground game to shorten the contest. It is their only chance of keeping the game close. The Irish are not an up-tempo team and they will look to get their ground game going against a UNLV defense that allowed 406 yards rushing last week. Both teams will run a lot and that will keep the clock running. The under has hit in seven of the previous nine Rebels October games as well as in the last six Fighting Irish games played on field turf. Lastly, the under is 7-2 in UNLV's last nine games in October and 5-1 in Notre Dame's last six games overall. These offenses have been showing that they are not scoring too much to push the score more towards the total number. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.